Hey everyone, my name is Jared Couture, and today I'm going to be doing a really cool guitar lesson with you uh, about scales. So this is an intermediate slash advanced lesson, and it can be tricky even for the advanced player if you don't do this kind of thing. So I say this though also because if you're a total beginner, uh, I still want you to stick around. Because if this is the first way you're going to learn scales, then this is probably the best. So either way, you're going to learn something. Check it out. Alright guys, let's get started though. So the whole idea behind this lesson is to play scales, and you can use any scale, whatever scales you're practicing, doesn't matter. In this lesson, I'm going to use a C major scale to keep it easy. Um, so, yeah, the idea is to play the scale uh, and use the entire range of the fretboard without using scale patterns. Okay? So we're going to play a C major scale, starting on the lowest note in the key of C, on the guitar, going to the highest note on this guitar, on your guitar, whatever guitar you're using, uh, on the fretboard, and back down. And just playing in order, but starting on the lowest note. Okay? So let me demonstrate. E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. F, G, A, B, C, D, A, G, F, E, D, C, D. Okay? So that is what we're doing. Except for we're going to do it in all 12 keys, of course. So the cool thing about this is we change our route every single time. You know? You're never using a pattern. Now, if you can see patterns, like sometimes I kind of use patterns to navigate through the fretboard, but I'm still not using, I'm not really, I'm not playing a pattern because every single time I change the route. So I could play E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, or E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, or, you know, so there's, so far in this video there's three different beginnings at least. Um, and yeah, so that's the thing, we're breaking free of patterns, right? Breaking free of muscle memory. That's, that's what I really want to aim for, and really use the entire range of the fretboard, the entire range, to the highest note. You know, not just playing five and then starting over, playing the entire range. So anyway, that's the idea. And normally what I would do is immediately when I get to the end of one scale, like if I'm ending C, let's just say, now I start immediately on the next key in the circle of fifths, which is G. So I use that F sharp. And then the same thing, once I get done, I go to, to D, A, E, B, F sharp, or G flat. Same, but you can think about it differently and then go through the flat keys, right? So, that's the idea behind this lesson. Now I challenge you to at the least play the key of C major, uh, lowest to highest note, in some type of a tempo. It does not have to be fast, because really it gets tricky if you change your route every single time. You know, if you play it fast, I mean sometimes it's in a different spot and it just gets, it's just tricky. Um, but I challenge you to play in at least, uh, at some tempo that is playable for you, and if that's too easy, I challenge you to play in 12, all 12 keys, of course. <laughs> and that's what I do with this. Every day, just at least just once a day, you know, I play all 12 keys this way without stopping. And I'm not against scale patterns. I use scale patterns too. Just want to let you know that. Scale patterns are also cool. Um, but the thing is, if we only practice scale patterns, then we, we're using muscle memory, you know. And if we're only using muscle memory, and sometimes we don't actually play music, we play muscle memory. We just play scales. Our hands just do stuff. And it doesn't always work when you're playing music. Because I think the idea of playing music, my idea of playing music is the point is to be able to hear what's in my head and then transfer that information and use the instrument to make that a reality. Right? That's what we're doing. But if we are... If the instrument is using us to make the music, which means like if, we're, if we're, our muscle memory is just taking over, then a lot of times the music suffers. It doesn't actually sound good. It's not very musical, what we play. So if we can get used to also practicing our inner ear, you know, 
with our inner ear and using our imagination and then recreating it with this thing, that's the goal, right? So that's what we want to do. So also I want to say something about scale patterns is scale patterns are also, scale patterns, you know, there's many ways we learn scale patterns. I know the, I like the cage system. I've learned this. I use it. I've also learned the classical ways, you know, where there's like three octave scales, uh, major and minor, all 12 keys. I'm sure some of you know what I'm talking about. There's the three note scale patterns, you know, there's all these patterns and they're all cool, but all of those patterns are just, except for the classical ones, I will give them a little more credit, but those patterns are really just used as a mnemonic device. It's just a memory thing, right? It's just a memory game. We break it into five parts, we chunk it to, uh, to see the whole fretboard easier. And that's all we're doing. But after you know that, this is like the next step, is being able to play in and out of them, or not use them at all. So first, maybe that's how you learn it. But even if you just learn like this first, and learn the notes in the fretboard, and just learn E, F, G, all the way up and down, and just learn it, I think it's probably no harder to learn this way from the very beginning than learning uh, five patterns, uh, or whatever patterns. But either way, they're both good. I recommend using both, but I totally recommend using this one, because this idea, because this is what this whole lesson's about, right? And I hope you take on my challenge, right? So, take on my challenge, at least play in C major, at a tempo. And if that's too easy, play all 12 keys. And let me know when you do, okay? Comment, let me know. Also, um, you know, if you have any questions at all, or want me to do any type of other lesson, I'll do that for you guys. So just let me know, comment, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And feel free to share really cool stuff with me too, because I love that. <laughs> and we'll just all learn together, okay? So I hope you like my lesson today, the information, and a little bit of the, uh, you know, philosophy is, uh, of why it's cool and just the ways of thinking about playing music that I shared with you today. So... Have a wonderful day and get practicing. Let me know when you got it. All right, we'll see you.